The Ministry of Foreign Affairs stated that Indonesian military soldiers serving in the United Nations interim force in Lebanon Unifil will not be returned, despite the ongoing conflict between Lebanon and Israel. Ministry spokesperson Roy Sumirat said in the current situation, the military soldiers will continue to comply with the orders from the UN, despite some statements from Israel expressing dissatisfaction with the forces in UNIFIL. Uh, in, this, in this regard, uh, the latest information that we got from our uh, permanent missions uh, in New York uh, is that uh, there are some uh, communications that uh, and, uh, from from uh, Israel that demands the changes of uh, personnel deployment on the ground. However, this is practically violating the, uh, the 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 mandates of the UN Security Council with regard to the deployment of the unity unifil itself. Uh, that's why, uh, as far as uh, we understand, as of now, unifil will always be uh, at the same. Uh, positions as of now, uh, even though the positions uh, where uh, Unifil now deployed are also uh, those are practically maybe affected directly by the recent uh, dynamics. Uh, again, we are not uh, under the uh, instructions of the Israeli Defense Force. Uh, Indonesian uh, contingent, uh, Indonesian personnel is part of the UN personnel, so we are going to always be uh, ready to uh, uh, what do you call it, to implement anything that the UN uh, headquarters decide for the presence of our personnel in Unifil. Roy said there are 1,232 Indonesian military soldiers serving in Unifil. He ensured the government has been maintaining communication with the UN to continuously update the latest situation of Indonesian soldiers as Indonesia is the largest contributor to personnel to the peacekeeping mission. Roy also said the Indonesian government will communicate with other countries participating in the mission to voicing safety of soldiers involved in the peacekeeping mission.